So if Tiger does move on and attack my record and defeat it, then I think I want to be the first one there to congratulate him because I think it would be a job well done. And uh, I think it's, uh, it'll be good for the game. So in a sense, the decision to make an international retirement was taken out of your hands? Yes, yeah. But I never thought of it as retirement. I mean, I always thought it was, playing for England was always the jam on the bread, you know. Do you really think people got entertainment out of seeing you almost lose your life? Absolutely. Just uh, like in the tunnel, to be yes. concentrated only for skiing. And, and, and it's almost like it took the humanity out of you, is that what you're saying? That yeah. You, you were dehumanized? Yeah, for sure. You're in your own tunnel. It's really, um, there's nobody else there. Um, the figures, the people that you're in the race of figures, there's no faces. And by then my mother had asked the question to him and then he hit him. And then I turned around and actually uh, picked him up and threw him across the room. And, uh, so you were defending your mother, effectively? Yeah, I'm defending everyone, really. Yeah. You want to be the best, you need to, to have the whole picture. And some athletes, maybe not they're, not, they're not in to put everything into the sport. And then maybe they get tempted to take a shortcut in drugs. And for me, that's just so sad. It's very hard to describe, really. I mean, if you woke up in the middle of the night, feeling the way you feel on the start line of a big race, you call an ambulance. <laughs> I mean, it really is a bad feeling. No question, being number one and staying number one took a lot out of me, emotionally. Retire? Never. Yeah. Never retire? Never. The white flag up? Never. It would be a surrender, would it? To yes, retire. never. Never. This is the last thing. This is the easiest way. Never.